So we'll come back. And Nana here and then we are into the next day's program on this fusion uh, procurement implementation. We are into sourcing. So in the sourcing, I yesterday made a mistake. I did the award only for the line one actually. It was having six quantities, one, two, and three. I made three suppliers award. And then I have forgotten to do the award for the second, uh, second line actually. So you have to do like that for the second also. So we can even go to the supplier area and then award it for the whole, for, for everybody can award. Or otherwise you can go to the line level and then award uh, individual. So the scoring team is going to help the, uh, what's called the sourcing administrator in uh, shortlisting the suppliers. They may even knock out, right? but it is up to the, what's called the sourcing administrator to see about whether he, uh, he, can, he can honor the recommendation or he can even ignore the recommendation of the sourcing team actually. Similarly, for your this thing, <clears throat> your uh, requirements, your pricing attributes, fine, your uh, rather your attribute list are all going to help the sourcing admin, admin to decide about how to do it. But ultimately, it is his decision whether he can even honor anybody's any of the inputs or he may even honor no inputs also, depending upon the requirement. Below it. And it is a laborious job. <clears throat> and then if you see, as Hemant was saying yesterday, it is not a big job of an implementer actually. Implementer will now simply set it up on the first day, whatever you set up, you now leave it. Afterwards, it is the company, implementing company, who has to hit, who has to sit and then create this negotiation actually. And then monitoring the negotiation is not an easy task. And uh, many companies will not be having people at all. Majority of the companies, the purchase officer himself will be the sourcing administrator because they don't have a separate plan for this. <clears throat> and the process is also very cumbersome. And so unless otherwise it is absolutely required, it will, be, it will not be done at all. I was working on steel authority and then uh, there, the two stage RFQ is a mandatory one. Whenever you're going to order for more than five lakh rupees worth of items. So five lakh worth of any contracts we are going to give now, it is, sourcing is mandatory actually. So in fact, I, I did a two stage RFQ <clears throat> way back in 1983. At the time there were no computers at all. Everything is all manual. So this becomes a mandatory one once when you go for a large amount of contract, now huge amount of contract in crores, <clears throat> fine. So if you're going for, then this becomes a mandatory one. <clears throat> so you must know about how to do it. So for norm normally for a smaller ones, you won't go for the sourcing because it is really very, very difficult to what happens, I do it now. So <clears throat> let us now go on and share my screen. We'll now go ahead and then do it now. <clears throat> share. And uh, one of my students is in need of uh, people now, actually. Fine. He is my student, actually, uh, Chinnamohan. And then uh, he's saying that uh, he wants people on the advanced procurement actually. And then uh, the location is in Bangalore. So he wants experienced guys, I think. <clears throat> that is what he's saying now. So if you know uh, anybody, please, any of you are interested or anything like that, uh, you can just let me know. Fine, I will know. I introduce you to him. You will not tell you the company and other things, basically. Nowadays, uh, compensation is on, on par with uh, the best industries actually. So you can even enjoy the compensation. <clears throat> So now we are going to begin the two-stage RFQ. So it was all existing there. The material management concept and supply chain management concepts were existing even before the computerization came in now. So that has been computerized actually. Now we'll now see two-stage. The two-stage will be having a technical and then the commercial section section. There will be a two sections, one is the technical and then the commercial. And the so let us now go and then create our two-stage RFQ. <clears throat> <Okay. clears throat> so... Is it PDX? So it is not logging. Go to space. Now I'll now go to the procurement and then I go to the negotiations. Let us now create a two-stage RFQ. So click on it. I'll now go there and then click on create negotiations. I'm now going to get a two-stage RFQ. So it has got a technical part and the commercial part. I will not drop down. I will not choose mine. Now. So it is a C01 RFQ. <clears throat> so the two stages are enabled actually. So we are following our style actually. And then the negotiation template drop down. I will not choose mine. But here again, it is not coming because uh, what we did is I have not enabled uh, what a template for this. Now. The template has to be enabled for two stage actually. So that was missing. And then that is only for a single stage, actually. If you go there and then have a look at it now, I can cancel now. And then I will now go to the manage negotiation. And then you will now have a look at my template now, right? My negotiation template C01. And then click on search. <coughs> go there. 
so i will not okay i do not uh, is not active i think probably inactive or not like a check moment i might not have made it properly so it's not showing you it is inactive actually fine because i opened it up on the date now fine because i click on edit and then i'm activated so click on edit and activate it so go there click on activity otherwise i should have made it for two stage actually i'm not i'm not activating it so the negotiate interpreter is activated so if you go on the make a search again it will not see the active state will be coming up sometimes i would have made the uh, negotiation itself not for two stage or a few so other time also it will not show up and click on the you know see i'm not remembering about how i made it actually so click on create negotiation <laughs> So go there. I will not put my C zero on or a few. So the one you can drop down, add it, get it. Oh God, it is not coming. So I click on search and open. Even if you put it, it will not come because I might not have enabled it for two stages. The template was not enabled for two stages. Now go on and have a look at it. Find the one. So click on it. Manage negotiation template. And then C zero one. So click on search. Now. I made a forward and find the one. Actions and then go to duplicate now. When I want to duplicate, it will not see. It will not show you. See the two stage I have not enabled in my template actually because of which it is not coming actually the template is not for two stage so I don't know how to edit it you know see whether I can enable it or not click on it because once when you make it in the initial stage only it will be coming otherwise what happens if you go there and then have a look at it it will not come down only in the initial stage it will not show but afterwards once when you go for edit it goes to the individual areas and got it now so when you are go doing it initially when you are creating it at that at same itself you have to do it click on the now. So click on plus now. When you are creating a template, you can go there. So if you put it, uh, and then uh, I might have made some mistake in our next one. When I am now creating a negotiation template, I will not put it. Go there. So here two stages have been enabled, and then uh, actually I've done it now. I don't know where the mistake I made now. The, I should have made. I would have made without a two stage actually. Yeah, I remember. I would have removed it and then made it. So we had to make a fresh template for two stage also. So let us forget it. Doesn't matter. Template is not required for this exercise actually. So when you're doing it, you have to create either with the two stage or without two stage. <clears throat> so go there, click on create negotiation. So it doesn't matter. I don't need a template actually because I'm not going to go in depth into that now. I'm going to go there. So if it's a two stage RFQ, there will not be any template at all for me. Outcome will be a purchase order. So okay, thank you. Now it's a two stage RFQ, and I'm now creating a two. I'm now creating a negotiation for two stage without any standard template. Click on create. So click on it. I'm now creating a, a two-stage or a few kind of a cover page. I will not say Google cover page. Give the appropriate information and then go to the overview page. So I'm going to the overview page. So what is the overview? Appropriate values over here. And then here is a fixed date. And go there. When you're going to close, we are going to say in a final. I'm not saying I will not be closing on 10th. So close date is sent. Open upon approval is okay. And go there. And then award date is not mandatory. You can leave it as it's not. It's not. It's sealed. So when you go for a two sale one, it will not be open at all. It will be always sealed actually. So there you'll be having a blind open and then something sealed. Something like that. Responsibility is always sealed on a two stage actually. And then do not fiddle around on the templates. It's a standard one. And then if your technical team is now creating a layout template, then you can pop it over there. I have no enable scoring. I'm not going to do any scoring at all. And enable base is okay. Display scoring area is not there. I'm not going to do any requirements area at all. I don't leave it as such. Now, put the responsibles. And then you're not giving you allow suppliers to see other suppliers one point or that one and then allow suppliers. So normally we will enable everything because we want to have the best price. Let the suppliers see others prices also so that you will not get a uh, thing now. Get a better price. So it all depends upon complete company. Allow responsible mission display 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 and display everything now. Okay, fine. Go. <clears throat> so all these things are done now, fine. Right? So uh, we go there, and then afterwards we go to the terms now. Okay, the terms. So I am accepting all the terms. Okay, I am not modifying anything. Whatever as defaulted, I am accepting it. I go to the collaboration team. I am not going to you go make any collaboration team at all. Anyway. So my name will always be coming with the full access. Actually, whenever I add the collaboration team members, it will be coming. I am not going to do anything on this now. Project is for project as an abstract. Also, we are not going to go. So, if I include the negotiation period as abstract, actually, it will be showing you. And then I go to the requirements. I am not going to put any requirements for this. I am not going to say C01 two stage. So, 
Okay, teman -teman, teman -teman, I'm going to requirements. I am not going to populate any requirement for this now. Leave it as such now. I'm not going to wait. I go to the lines now. I'm going to add the lines now. So line, I'm going to add it. And click on plus now. I will now add the line. So it is a. Uh, uh, what is the number here? I forgot about it. Is it uh, six five zero zero zero? What is the number? What is it? it begins with what now? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Yes, uh, six five zero zero one. I will not put it. Yes, okay. six five zero one is a portable wireless printer actually. So the current price is hundred, and then the, the start price is also hundred. The target price cannot be given on the line. You have to edit it and give it. Quantity, I will not say five quantities. <clears throat> And then the requested delivery date is an important one. And these are the quantity and delivery dates as we filled up. Requested delivery date. So I'm not putting it as what? Uh, I'm going to say 17. 17 to 1. So I know I want five. And then the current price and the start price I given now. So click on edit and then I will now fill up that target price. Click on it. So I'm expecting a target of 90 now. <clears throat> and it is there. So click on the edit button and then go inside and then give the target. So the target price is 90 and then display the target of the supplier also. So we can even give the note to supplier actually. <clears throat> and then line target price also we can give up and for the cost factors actually. So we'll now add the cost factors over there. Click on it. I will drop down. I will now say click on search, uh, see transportation. I'm going to give it now. It's a fixed amount and then the target value. I'm not saying that whatever. I'm not expecting him to so give me $12. No fine. Display the target of the supplier. So only one I'm adding it actually. So one of the Cost factors I'm adding now. Uh, we can even give the line target price over here that will also be displayed. Fine, otherwise, we can give it as one. And then click on selection and that. And let me add one of them. Add from a list now. Add those. So we have a resolution warranty here now. And we'll click on search now. I will add it manually. And that's it. Fine. So the attribute list has been added. The cost factors have been added now. And then afterwards, you go there, click on save and close page. It completes. The line level is no information is complete. So it has got what? Your uh, uh, target price is there, and then your cost factors is there, and then your uh, attribute list is also there. And then give a save. As and when you make an, uh, you give a save now. I will not put a note back. Go to the note back. And then it is, uh, is what's called two stage RFP. No. 31785. Stage part of you. <clears throat> stage RFQ is 31785. So, contract times will be seen on procurement contracts. Supplier, let us add it now. And two suppliers let me add it now. Since I'm not using a template, so I have to add it manually now. So, go there. C01. And then sub one. You can uh, mute your mic and then uh, you can uh, uh, press the space bar to speak actually. So click on plus one. We'll now add the second supplier, C01. <clears throat> I'll now put sub two over here. Click on okay. So this is sub two. That's it. Two suppliers are sufficient for this now. So I click on review and then you can debate. Otherwise, you can give a save and then submit it. So it will be going to the approver now. So this is much. So I have got one lines with uh, cost factors and attribute list. I'm going to click on it. publish. It's a two stage RFQ. It will be on a sealed fashion now. I click on publish now. It will be sealed actually. So 31785 is now submitted for approval. We'll now go and log in with the CASE browser. So go there. Is it PBX is the one? Log in with the CASE Brown. CASE Brown is the approver for the negotiation. And then Calvin Drop is the approver for award, actually. CASE Brown. So you have got a message that is 31. What is the number here? So 31785. Might have come for him off one time. You click on this one. Go there. He's on. 31785. Click on it. And then let him approve. 31785 has come to Cassie Brown for approval. That is a negotiation approval. Fine, click on approval. Award approval is Calvin Brown. Click on approval. Go there. Hey, Surya, if uh, I have taken an action, it goes away now. Uh, there is some other place like uh, in this place, the tools editor, something like that is there. But I forgot on that actually. There also you can see all the notifications actually. And go to the more. There is one uh, uh, edit work list is there. But I don't know under what heading is coming now. So if you know it, please tell me. Fine. 
uh, you make an uh, ready to work list is there from there automatically can very well see this uh, it is not there here at all no where it is visible actually because from there you can see uh, maybe in the approvals area and on the approvals approvals is not showing me in the approvals area it not show or not it must have been changed the name might have been changed actually so click on puts and then approvals <clears throat> whether you can see it or not i'm taking time now <clears throat> so let me time i'll now go there and then have a look at the computer on it so now go there go to the manager negotiations so i now see this whatever they are telling me this employee owner is employee frankly on such a no show this so 31785 is now active and then locked actually is now active and then locked so nobody can see anything at all it's now active and locked that is what happened so we'll now go to the excel sheet now so create a sheet here and all of the dv it will become active and locked now we will now let the suppliers submit it and if it is active and locked you cannot see anything at all and there is nothing will be visible actually so if you go there and then go to the actions and then go to monitor and then go to uh, manage uh, analyze and then uh, view response history fine if you see there is no response at all and there is no monitor. so monitor negotiation is not coming at all the monitor there is no monitor negotiation you can only see the supplier activities actually in the manager also nothing will be coming as of now so normally in the monitor monitor negotiation not coming because it is not sealed actually it is locked actually active and locked so let us now log in to the first supplier now so we'll now log in to the first supplier he is going to respond back I'm not, I'm not remembering it. Get to this place. Martin, are you there? Yes. Oh, yeah, woken up very good. <laughs> is it easy? And then the first supplier is logging in now. So the one I can on the them sign. And then you will now you will go to the home page and then go to the supply portal of this now. Click on home and then go to the supply portal. And then here you will be getting on the main infolet. You will now have information that one of them requires is attention actually. So you can see the green one negotiation closing soon is the one green one. If you click on it, there is only one closing soon. Thank you for it now. So once one is the closing soon now. So that you can say three ones on it. You will now go there, go to the actions and then go to the respond and then you will now acknowledge the participation. Acknowledging is not a must, but if it is an amendment, acknowledgement is a must. Uh, uh, amendments need to be acknowledged. Without which, you cannot get a response at all. Otherwise, it's okay. Here, we can even go and get a response directly without acknowledging. But if it is an amendment, we have to first acknowledge the amendment and then first create a response. Had it been a surrogate code, what happens? Uh, both the acknowledgement of amendment and create a response are clubbed together in one go. Actually, in one go, you can do it. This is a surrogate response. So, to create a response, you know, there is a response. So everything is okay, fine. If you want, you can even put a response validate. You know that you want. It. And then go to the lines now. So the expected price is ninety, and then here, what happens? You know, say uh, the target price has to come now. Fine, we are now asking to dispute the supply. Oh, it's not coming yet. Okay, I'm going to put eighty-five. <clears throat> now there, there, and then click on edit now. Fine, edit. We have to give the other ones now. Fine, we are now putting a price of eighty-five. Thank you, Mark. Click on edit now. So here, I think the target price is coming. Only when you edit, you are able to see the target price in the main line. It is not shown now. You can do a view column, Nana, and bring it inside. Okay, okay, fine. We have to cancel now. So oh, view column, it may be available. Ah, huh? okay, okay. Good information. Now we have to cancel. There is very less real estate on that page, so you will have to do view ah, and bring view column. And go there. The target quantity right. is there. Target price is also there. Is there? Okay, good. Good information, Nana. Now fine. So since there is not much of information, they are not put the target price over there now. This place. So it's not coming. But so click on it and then now click on edit now. <clears throat> Go there. Come on, everything is coming. So you can even put a note to buy. Go there. So he is now uh, the line price is there eighty five and then you know saying transportation the expected target value is now saying now saying slightly costly sir. Do all this. And then in this one I'm I'm having the same problem. I'm not putting one or two something like that. I, I did not have to put in this format now. Fine. The list of values is not coming. If anybody knows about how to bring a list of values, it would be great actually. Go there. Click on it. So, but list of values is coming in the requirements actually. The requirements we have multi scoring and then uh, multi levels and all these things are there. But here there is no such option at all. <clears throat> If everybody knows it, how do it? Please educate all of us now. So he has given all this information and then he will now give a save and close now. Fine, eighty page one, and then he will go to submit the response. So click on submit the response. 
So response is now getting submitted. So six zero one two five is the sub point response. Six zero one two five. Six zero one two five is the sub point response. Similarly, sub two is going to response now. Now we go to sub two and then response. So I'm going to do the command here. PBX. It is now showing you the Cassie Brown's one now as the command. So I will now go to apps. Nana. Oh, there is a second supplier actually. Let me go sign it. And then we will go to the supplier portal of this now. So go there, click on the home icon, and then you go to the supplier portal. Supplier portal. And then here you go there. And then click on the uh, negotiations uh, closing soon. Is there the green icon or fine green one of the one? What is closing soon? Another one. Another one. Go, go to the actions and then go to straight away response. Create a response. No need of more action. Now putting it to the lines area. So he is now giving a price of eighty. Line price is eighty. So he is the best supplier. So sub is the best supplier. So here also you can even bring the target price over here. Otherwise, what happens? Go there and click on edit now. Go to this place and then here he is now giving you this is fourteen dollars. Eighty plus some taxes is going to be eighty-two point eighty actually. I just want to say the cost factor is not getting added to the total price actually. So he is now giving some value here. On it. That's it. Fine. Give a save. So you are now giving eighty, and that's it. Fine. Nothing else is there. Fine. Give a save and then you know submit. So click on submit. So both the suppliers have submitted the response of eighty pay and then eighty. I'm going to correct, but the negotiator he cannot see at all. If you go on and have a look, if you click on them and come on, he cannot see anything at all. But he can see that it's no response. I'm going to click on search now. It is active locked. I'm going to. So if you click on the three one seven eight five, the sourcing negotiator can go to the actions and then go to analyze and then view response history. You can see now. The analyze view response history is there. Now the responses are shown here, but even the response number is also not coming here. You don't see whether it is coming inside or not. It's a sealed one actually. If you click on the sub one, you don't see whether the response number is coming or not. So that is not showing you anything at all. The response number is not coming at all. So now where the response number is not. The response numbers are what? You see, it is a six zero one two five. And what is the other number here? I have forgotten. What the numbers? Sub two. Nothing is visible here. Again, view all columns again. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. View the columns. Yeah. Then any response validity date is there. Response entered by is there. Fine. There is no other problem. So response entered by is there. You can't manage columns, no, no. Manage columns. You can't manage columns. Only these two are missing actually. Are there any visible columns? Oh. The response is there. I will know any response is there in this place. Response type is there. Response is sealed actually. Okay. And response type on the back. So that's why it's showing, it's not showing you the response. Make an R and D. It may be visible somewhere. Click on that now. You know, see any other place we are able to see this on Fango. Click on it. Open it up. You go to the actions and then go to the monitor now. Find new monitor supplier activities we can monitor. So we'll now see the supplier activities whatever is being given. So on the first supplier. So he has viewed it and then he has submitted the response in a sealed cover actually. So that way he has done it. Accepted the negotiation and he has submitted it. And that's it. Now we'll now go there. Go to the next activity. So submit the response. View response uh, history as sealed actually. Now close the negotiation. I'm not going to close it. So I'll now close it. I'm going to close my actions and then go to manage and then I'm going to close the negotiation. So I'm not going to close the negotiation straight away. So I'll now say point <coughs> uh, uh, two stage. So the some the individuals will be basically all the suppliers will be notified on this one. So the suppliers will be notified that is not closed. All the email participants will be notified by this one, this activity. So we can now see this confirmation message also in the individuals. <coughs> so the close date for the negotiation was updated actually. It was initially some other date. Now it is not both close today. So to continue now. And then make a research now find active locked. And then you can now see closed lock. From active lock does not become closed lock. And then these guys will be getting a notification also that it's closed. So go there. Was closed. 
So this negotiation was closed. He has got an email notification on this now. So the two stage are closed. So dismiss this. So once it is closed, you cannot make it. You can only make a draft response. You cannot make an active response. So this is what is. Okay, we are in this place. Now we go to the Excel sheet and then have a look at nothing. Now unlock the technical stage. I'm going to unlock it. So on the sealed also, you cannot see the response name. Now he's going to unlock the technical actually. You know, unlock the technical. So click on that and then again, re-query it and then wait now. So click on search again. And then I know re-query it and then open it up. And then I'm going to unlock the technical. So you'll now unlock the technical and go to actions and then go to manage and then unlock the technical. Unlock stage technical and go to click on unlock. So once when you unlock the technical stage for the negotiation, buyers will be able to view the technical stage responses, but not the commercial one. Commercial, you cannot do it. Only the technical part of item uh, items attribute, like uh, what happens your, uh, you have the attribute list, and then we have the cost factors. Those things you can see, but you cannot see the price actually. So unlocking it. The technical stage is now unlocked. Those actions. And then here, go to the monitor, and then go to the uh, analyze, and then go to the analyze negotiation. Analyze negotiation has just now come off. And previously, only B response was there on the sealed one. When the technical is unlocked, we are able to see analyze negotiation also. Analyze negotiation. So it now says it's now the process fine for everyone. Now the response is now coming. Response number is coming. If you click on the response now, on the on the response, you can now see the technical specification of the response only. You can only see the technical specification. I go to the lines area, you can see the technical specifications. So Portable for the five one years, click on it. Find that you click on the details now. Find on the details and how it So, five years, you know. So, he has given these attribute list values, and then for the cost factor, what is given? Where is the cost factor? Here? Attributes is now coming, and the cost factor also has to come. Come on, what can I say? Cost factor is not visible there. Cost factor is financial. No, no. Oh, 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 cost factor will come into financials. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, he's saying cost factors will be coming in financials, only the attributes will be able to see now. Click on. So he has now seen everything. So likewise, you can even see that second one. It's a two-stage evaluation. So the second one also you can see. That. So both are shortlisted because we don't have any scoring criteria at all. So they are all shortlisted. So the main one you can also see evaluation is in progress. The technical is unlocked, and then he is able to see technical specifications so item as well as the attributes. Items the attributes he is able to have. Now, only the negotiation and view responses. Now, look at the technical requirements. You know, how still look at it now. Fine. Price will not be visible in this line. So. Unseal it now. Now, we are going to unseal it. So, you unlock it and then see all these activities and then you are going to unseal the technical action. Yeah, that's and if you unseal, then the suppliers can see each other's response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. So, unseal it. not show you. Fine. Because I click on the manage and go to unseal it. So, in the unlock stage, he's able to see this now. Fine. You know, going to unseal the, unseal the technical stage. Mandatory step, right? We can keep, still keep it sealed or we have to unseal it only. I don't know. This is the procedure which I learned actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Business will say that they don't want suppliers to see each other's response. Okay, so. yeah. If you unseal technical stage, buyers and suppliers will be able to view responses for technical stage actually. That's what I think. Both the suppliers also can view. That's what I'm saying now. So, you see in the field about whether you have to unseal it or not. What Hemant is saying is that unsealing may not be required at all. You can go on and directly unlock the commercial. That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, the thing is, suppliers, that's the checkbox which we said that they can see the response of each other when uh -huh. we set it up. That, yeah. you can, you, that you can disable it. Oh, -ho. when we set if it you don't up. disable it, they can see others. When you are launching the negotiation, up. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the, he's saying that hey, the others can also, now we'll not unlock, unseal it now. Now the supplier can see others' responses are not we'll see now. So the technical stage is now unsealed actually. You know, go there and then click on done and then come out of it. You know, come again and then you know, query the negotiation over here now. Three one seven five four. I go to place and then go to the manage responses now. Manage responses and click on search now. So you can now see only his response. I think now. You, no, no, you have to go to view responses. Okay, uh, second, second, second. I will now go to the view negotiation itself. View active negotiations from there. We don't see now. Click on it now. We don't see the active negotiations. Ah, response submitted is yes now. And click on search now. Uh, invitation received and the response submitted. Ah, everything is there. It is not coming yet. Negotiation closed. Ah, I have no put what negotiation number. No? I have no three one seven eight five. This will not be here. No, no. Huh? Have to go back to that. 
uh, other other menu link once again i want to see that open invitations here now find out that what no see uh, closing the next days closing today all this is coming uh, we have to go via responses you are saying yes view res because it's already responses already created oh 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 manage the responses go there so here and the response the, number i had to put response down. status right i think it is ah, uh, not updated. this is the one which is giving you this now find out that so here uh, technical is unsealed actually man right? what is the one i have to choose now is the other one go to response status the other field uh where is the response is there such status below there below below, below. uh to what's left to what's left, the left. Anna, this down down this oh here this one, this one is uh, one where pending award i think it will oh. be pending award pending award and <laughs> this is a given a blank one i yeah. i don't understand this one a blank search should have been a very good so 60125 is the response thank you that the one And then six zero one two six the others response now. How to see the others response now? Come on, it says that it can be seen. Now. So here I've never implemented. I've never implemented that. We've oh. always disabled that option. No, oh. that, that on the uh, on the template itself, we have disabled it, or on the negotiations that disabled it is not visible actually. Okay, okay. That's correct. The thing is, there is no point showing to each other because uh -huh. that's the reason we are having this RFQs. Oh. You know, it defeats the purpose. Ah, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, if you want to see now, it is in a sealed one, but technically unsealed actually. So we are running now. Fine, no problem. So in this place, what do you want to see now? Click on that now. So if you want to see, click on monitor and view supplier analyze and then analyze the negotiation now. So in the analyze negotiation, we are already seeing this now. Fine. It is now unsealed. Then the unsealed stage, the the supplier also is coming into picture actually. Fine. From unlocked from the technical unlocked to unsealed, what happens? The supplier is also coming into picture. Apart from that, otherwise everything is okay. Same thing only. Thank you. Un unlocked and then unsealed did not have, give much of a things on this. Now, thank you. Because now the details you can now see the uh, technical uh, or upon the attribute specifications you can see. So it is now unsealed actually. So so really uh, the unseal is now opening up something for technical for the supply provided he is able. Now. now buyers and suppliers can view the response of technical sales. What is saying now? But is the tick mark? Am I saying must be on on the main overview page actually? So complete. What happens at stage technical? We are now going to complete the technical stage. Then we are going to then now go there. Keep on done now. We are now complete the technical stage. Go to the actions. Go to that done again, and then come out of the main page now. <coughs> go to the actions and go to manage. Let us now complete the technical stage. Complete the technical stage. Now go there. Keep on. So if the technical stage is completed, responses excluded from the short list view will be uh, will not won't be available for evaluation. Come on. Oh, during the technical stage, we can even short list it. That is what I have not done it actually. So we can even short list it. And then, uh, if it is uh, removed from the shortlisted, then they will not be visible on the commercial stage at all. So when you complete it, so in the technical stage, we can do one more thing: is what shortlisting. Shortlisting can be done. There is one activity you can do now. So if you complete that, we will not give a no now. I will not see whether the options go to the manage now. So we can go to the what's called the shortlisting actually. I don't know where exactly it is now. Analyze, sir. No, no. Analyze first. Analyze. Analyze. Okay, fine. In the analyze, analyze negotiation, and then there you can show. Yeah, huh? yeah. So there'll be like two. Both the suppliers will be shown, and then click, and then cancel shortlist status. Oh, change shortlist status. Right? Both have been shortlisted okay. by the okay, system. Okay, fine. This one can be done in technical. Fine. Go. Click on send this one further, and then if you do it, what happens? It will be given a, a no. No. Fine. There is no more shortlist. There is no more available. So this can be done. Okay. Shortlisting can be done. Okay. Click on change shortlist. Yeah. Then again, make it any better. so in the technical stage after looking at his uh, responses on the attributes we can shortlist them right? that is one activity you can do got it now so uh, any questions so on the technical stage we can do the shortlisting actually we can do the shortlisting and then remove certain suppliers from whatever they are competing on the commercial stage actually so after seeing your individual uh, line level responses we can shortlist it now i'll go there and then complete it now find that one done now done and then it is now complete and go to the actions and go to the manage and then complete the stage technical you know complete so once it is done the short list will not be available for the commercial stage at all so the technical stage evaluation negotiation was completed somebody's mic is giving a problem now <clears throat> and you got who is this vivo vivo's mic is always coming to picture who is this vivo vivo 9909 or something like this one you always right click and then put your name now on this place so 
complete the stage technical now unlock the commercial now you go to unlock the commercial you go to click on it you go to the actions and then go to manage and then you know unlock the stage commercial and now go to unlock it and click on unlock stage commercial so if you unlock the commercial stage buyers will be able to view the responses for technical stage and commercial stage also commercial also will be visible for the buyers actually so so click on as now so the commercial also will be visible on the point so if you go there go to the actions then go to uh, what happens now come to award also once when the technical is now closed what happens the analyze is now becoming award actually and the analyze is now become award so i will now go to this place award you automatic award recognition okay then we'll go to the monitor now monitor supply we'll go to manage are yaar kahan dekhenge isko i want to see it i think it's visible now i want to analyze the negotiation i can see the technical stage uh, commercial stage also is saying ah when i unlock it that is not there at all hey man come on how can i see this response view response history okay. view response history you click on the view response history can go there so i'll click on the response itself and go that corner i can see the commercials also i can see the price actually go to the line level and then see whether you can see the price also yes the price is visible so once when you unlock the uh, what's called uh, the negotiation the prices are also visible for the buyer actually so we are go via what we are go to this what award and then go via this one you can done now so you go to go to this place via actually and go to award and then view response history through view response history you can now see this one so we are now unlock the commercial you go there go to the next thing so unlock it buyers can only see uh, buyers can only see the responses actually when you can only see the responses what do you mean this is here i written it i don't know what exactly i meant <laughs> so we are able to see the responses now the message you got dana that's a message when you got when you unlock commercial is uh, a message pops up which says that buyers can see the responses buyers can see the response i have written only also i the only i don't understand what i got okay now we are going to unseal the commercial stage thank god i don't know what that now we are going to unseal the commercial stage so go there click on actions and then go to manage now we are going to unseal the commercial stage so if you unseal the commercial stage buyers and suppliers will be able to view responses for the technical stage and commercial stage maybe at this stage only when i if i have removed i have now removed him by shortlisting it i think the supplier can see it actually so we'll be able to view responses from the response so click on s now i am now unsealing it so go through the implementation guide it will now give you a lot of information on all these activities actually so what all it can be done so we can just see this now so that's it so it is now unsealed actually thank you can done and come out of it so go there in the main area also it will now say it will now close and then it will now give a search now find uh close block It is not closed, and then evaluation is involved. We already closed it actually. So evaluation follows. So we have completed the technical evaluation. Evaluation is process in commercial actually. Once when you complete the technical and then complete it, it gets closed and then afterwards once when you un unlock it and then unseal it. Now evaluation progress in the commercial line will come. So upon closure of a technical, it goes as closed locked. Technical is closed means what goes to the state of closed locked, and then the commercial is unlocked and then unsealed also. So go there, click on it. Now we can see the same thing only. Go there, click on it. Go there, go to the actions, and then go to the award, and then view the response history, <clears throat> and then click on the response, and then you can now see the response. Go there, line level response. Go there, click on it, and then you can now see the line level response. This is now rank two or whatever it is. So this is what. Go there, click on it. Go there. Here in the commercial stage. Actually. Now award the negotiation. Go there. So you have now unsealed it, unlocked, and then unsealed it. Go there. We have now award it. <clears throat> so now go there and unlock it. So click on done now. So go to the actions and go to award award negotiation. You can even see the automatic recommendation. View automatic recommendation. Find go there. Found it. It now says sub two is the cheapest one. Now find go there. Found it. Sub two is the recommended one. But I can even uh, place an order on sub one also. If the negotiator feels the uh, sourcing administrator feels he wants to place the automatic recommendation is there. You can even accept it and then go ahead now and then uh, place the order on number one. Or that means you can override the system's recommendation. Click on done. Show the amount, and there are so many graphs are available. You can also go on and see now. I'm going to actions, I'm going to manage now, and then not manage. Go to award, go to award, award negotiation, and go to award negotiation. In the commercial stage, fine. Once when the technical is closed, it will get closed. Remember, technical is completed, it's not getting closed. Fine, go to award. It is not shortlisted, so it now says uh, sub one is rank two, but I want award for it. Click on it, and then click on award. So I can even go to the line level also, in the supplier level for all the lines put together. If the line level, individual lines again award. Click on award. <clears throat> so here you can see that what happens. The award point is 
So if I want to honor both the suppliers, what I can do is I can award two for him and then three for him also. I can line level, I can split the award depending upon because sometimes what happens is you want to keep the suppliers happy because they are repeatedly quoting and then you are not honoring them with anything. So okay, here what happens is this sub two is the one best one. Fine, I will not give four to him now. Fine, at least to honor him, let them let them quote next time. What happens? I will not give one. So the sourcing admin can divide whatever way he wants to. He will also have a look at all these specifications basically, and then finally decide on this. And everything is now shown to him. So based upon which, all of them are guidelines for the supplier, and then based upon the attribute list of this also. So based upon which he will now take a decision of who to place the order. So part quantities can also be placed by you know making it to. So up to the uh, yeah. Nana, one question. Uh, so all this is happening at the global level, right? Ah. Uh, uh, so uh, you know, uh, not, uh, if the suppliers are segregated, uh, you know, by legal entity or something like that, suppose, uh, then uh, is there any way to award contracts, uh, like say on a different uh, legal entity and not award in some something else? So doesn't that segregation is there. It doesn't show you the legal entity level at all. It I'm is not, not there, right? I'm not sure. Really. Heman, can you comment on this now? Can you do the award at the early level suppliers, uh, something like that? <clears throat> Or do you mean also, like LE? I did not hear the question, Nana. Like, yeah. let's say, yeah, go ahead, Nana. Go ahead. Nana tell me, tell me. So, uh, Hemant, let's say, you know, you have a supplier uh, who is working for you for India as well as for US. Now, you want a negotiation for only for US region, not for India region. He may be a completely a supplier for uh, India region, but not in US. So, how do you do that? So there is a requisition BU set up when you set up the negotiation. Um, uh, so you select the requisition BU, which will get when you when you create, you know, um, you know that will get tied up to the PO BU. So there is a there's a link there. So there that's one option is there. But he is uh, talking about the supplier level now, not at the requisition BU level actually. The supplier is now in US as well as in India. Yeah. So like, then you can the, you can the, raise the sourcing process with the supplier site. When you invite site. the suppliers. To, uh, yeah. Supplier site. Uh, okay. Site yeah. Quickly, uh, yeah. Local yeah. There is a site option also. Yeah. Uh, site right. option. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Site yeah. options we can do it on the not on the supplier level. Actually. So think over it. There will be so many options okay. available here. And then the sourcing admin is now deciding like this. Now, click on seven close. Now he has awarded. Now. He has awarded it for two different suppliers. And the change is now saved. Now. And then submit for approval. You know what is submit for approval. Now. So he will now submit it for approval. So it will be going ahead now. Fine. <clears throat> so the two stage RFQ has got two things. One is what technical uh, unlock and then unseal, and then similarly commercial unlock and unseal. So by which uh, the activities will be completed now. Fine. And every stage there are certain things. Something supplier can see something, and a buyer can see like that. Whatever you can go through the implementation guide and then understand fully what what are all the things are visible for whom now. So Calvin Roth. You know, going to go on the approval. The two-stage RFQ is now getting approved by him. Go there, come on. I'm going to go there. Go there. So, action to file award. Award decision was submitted for approval, actually. So, award is approved. Calvin dropped. So, you'll now go there and click on approve. So, by which he gets approved. Go there. Now, we'll now go back and then see. Now, this place is now approved. Go there. So, click on done and then come out of it. Now, we'll now see. Award progress is there. Now, find evaluation progress in commercial state. Now, we'll search again. So it is approved actually. Award approved and then unsealed actually. Award is approved and unsealed. Now we have to complete the award. After the award is approved and unsealed, then go to the actions, then go to the award, and then what happens? Complete the award. So click, click on complete award. So we have got two supplies on this one. Click on purchase orders for both. So go there. No, another option. Also. So the completed award will be converted into a PO now. If you want, you can do it. Otherwise, you can leave it as such. Now, fine. Later on, later on, you can even give the recommendations to the sub purchase officer. He will now decide whether to give it or not. So we'll now initiate the approvals for both the things and then click on submit. So you want to click on submit. <clears throat> so we are submitting this RFQ with the two POs on a two-stage RFQ. I have done this two-stage way back in 1983, can you see? People will be putting everything on a cover actually. So the sealed cover will be given and then the technical uh, cover will be given to me. I will now go to my office and then I will now open up and then I will now make my technical recommendations. And then I will now submit my recommendation to the purchase officer. <coughs> Afterwards, after getting everything, what happens? You will now announce a date for commercial opening. On the commercial day of opening, you will now invite the suppliers also because they wanted to see also about each of this price actually. 
So because they're all a big level, so over a big level only we'll be doing this two stage. Otherwise, you won't be doing it. So the number of dollars is not there. So, can, so that way it goes. So we back now. You can see 83 is what 35, 40 years approximately. <laughs> so I done a lot of work. Right? At the time, I'm a very energetic guy. Actually. No, also energetic, sir. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was about to say, and also you're energetic. <laughs> so completed and then the purchase of motor scale and you can see it. So if you go there and how do I can you see this? More actions. And then go to analyze. And then uh, view response history. Where is, where is the view purchase order is there? View automatic award recommendation, share award recommendation, monitor, monitor, monitor subject like this, manage. Ah, I don't know where to see this purchase orders actually. So I'm to be available now. Uh, sir, view is there. A uh, view. View response history is there. No, 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 no. There, oh, there is a view. Okay. Ah, view purchasing document. Purchasing document. View purchasing document. There is a view purchasing document. Is there? So we can view. Now it's open. So view purchase order document. So if you click on the purchase order document, it will open up directly and show it on the sub one side one. It will be one quantity, and then sub two side two is the best supplier. It will be one quantity. One quantity. This completes the two stage RFQ. And and for both one stage and two stage, I can put the outcome as a purchase uh, is order than a purchase BPA order, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're creating it. We can say outcome is a BPA or a purchase order. BPA, BPA, yeah. BPA also is possible. That's it. Now go for the next topic. Now Now go for request for information. In RFI, everything is same, but only thing is the award will be missing actually. Now go there. 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 So here in RFI, you go there. <clears throat> so click on negotiation. So click on create negotiation. I'm not going to make a RFI. So go there, click on it. I will not say C01 RFI and make it now. So template, I have not made any template, doesn't matter, leave it now. I'm not made any template for this Click on create. So RFI, I'm making it now. So cover, I will not say it's a cover. I'm going to go to the overview. The cover, I go to the overview now. So here, I'm going to give a lot of information on the overview actually. The overview. After having this, now I'm going to want it. Now to give the close date, close is the fixed date. I'm going to want it. I'm going to give it eight. The remaining, I'm leaving it as a chunk. I'm going to want it. So go there. And then I'll go to the terms. I'm not modifying anything as a chunk. No terms modification. No collaboration team. No project. No abstract. So I'm going to want the requirements. No requirements. So the title is what? C01. And we'll say RFI. Go to the lines region now. Requirements, I'm not giving anything about. I'm going to put the right term. So item is AS65002, I will not use it now, go there, I will not say uh, four quantities, and then the current price is under, <coughs> I will now go on and edit it, now click on edit, uh, you must enter a, a, a date now, date is a must now, so I am saying when you want it, now. 24 the date, I want it now, so click on edit, inside, <coughs> and then everything is okay. The target price, I will not say uh, 85 is the target price. This is the target. And nothing fine, but I click on save and close now. No giving any attributes, no cost factors. Here you see the cost factors are also not coming. So the cost factors are not coming in RFA actually. Cost factors will come only on a real RFQ actually and not on RFA. Only attributes can be added. Cost factors are not coming. So go there, click on it. And then the contract terms is now there. Supplier, I will not add two suppliers over here now. So this is the one. <coughs> No, no, here you have the site, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, this play, uh, you can uh, all of us do it. Yeah. Uh, when you're adding it, we can add only for India sites, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So click on plus now. Easy one. Sub to the one. Go there. So that's it. I can give a save and then publish it. So 31786 is now going to be submitted for approval. It is the RFA, remember. It is the RFA. So we are going to get to obtain all the things and then we are not going to award anything. 31786 is the one. I don't know the case. Come on, wait on the long board. The Cassie Brown. Then 
So we will end when 31786 will not come. 31786, right? It's a cassive down. How to refresh it? It has been submitted for approval, isn't it? Uh, I have not. Oh, I know you want to publish it. Click on publish. I have not forgotten it. Click on publish. You must enter a valid location for line one. It was giving error actually. Line one location. What is that here? It is erroring out. Location is there actually. You will save. And then go to actions and then go to validate. You know, validate it. You, are, you must enter a valid location for line one. What is the line one location? Oh, this may, be, may not be available on the, this serial organization at all. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe. That is because I'm not put the line, uh, item one now. Right? Item two may not be available in serial actually. That may be the reason. Why. I don't say anything. And then good actions are going to validate now. So item one. Okay, you must enter valid location. Come on, save it. Where is the location? Let's understand this. Location is available here. In line. Ah. Seattle is coming. No, no. It's coming now. So click on it now. Click on edit now. Already everything is there. Location. No, no. Uh, is it because you added the supplier site? Supplier site is added. Okay, but. Uh, all the suppliers are eligible. No? Everything is associated with the BU, same BU. It's the same okay. BU. The suppliers are also the same BU. So the actions can go valid. It should tell me where exactly the error is now. You must enter a valid location for line one. Now. I will now give a what's called save. And then I come out of it and then re it now. 31786. I will now re it. The manager of the company, search. We want some eight six. See, uh, we're going to drag that. What is the message you're using? Locked by EMP one. Okay, let me say locked by EMP one. Others cannot open it. Then actions validate now. So it's okay now. Location for the name. I will not delete this line. And then save now. So I'm not deleting it and saving. Let me validate it at the time. Now see whether any uh, good actions will go validate. No, see the validation has been. No errors are warning. Fine, go there. It will add it. I will not put the first item on it. No. So yes, it's fine. <clears throat> first item there. No. I will go for five quantities. I will click on edit now. You must enter the required delivery. Delivery is no enter. So I am not expecting it. What is it? So expected is not ready. And then give a save now. At the time, I will now validate. Now come on it. Actions validate. So now validate it. And you must enter valid location for line one. Come on. Where is the valid location? Is not coming. So till now, we haven't got this error at all. Huh? Fine. But the first time you are getting this error now. Fine. I will now say headquarters. Headquarters is for the uh, what's called your master org actually. I will now put the headquarters over here. So headquarters. Save now. Item is assigned to sale org also. It's gonna put the master org and go action and go validate. No errors. What is this here? I couldn't understand this now. <laughs> Why he is asking for a master org? It is again verifying that uh, default delivered location or something like that. I don't know what actually. Another one you had selected one actually. Uh, the AS65001. Ah. It was a different product. It may okay. be because it did. See, on 6500, Seattle is giving error. Headquarters is not giving any error now. <laughs> maybe that it, Seattle is missing there. You know, people are working on the environment, right? Maybe, maybe. Something is happening. Here. I don't know. Uh, 85 now. Yeah, that's one. Actually. The same. Something no, no, current price also you have not given. Okay, current price also I need. Mean, current price is 100 now. You will see. Okay, I will not publish it. This has, it has to go. 31786 has to go. Now submit for approval. I have not seen the message at all. Oh God, location is now very important. I don't understand this. And even in SSP also, the location was giving a big problem. So there also we are having a lot of confusion. Students are not accepting on the master 
on the configure requisition business plan sir 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 there is some mistake sir it is not should not be a must <laughs> tell me what to do now they are also not aware of what to do but they say that you are doing a mistake that we can understand but mm. we don't know what to do now so you know draft no no this is called wow you are <laughs> familiar with wow no no w o w uh called way oracle works <laughs> cannot do anything it's called wow is the way oracle works na na uh, yeah tell me Nana, tell me, tell me, tell me. I can hear. Yeah, in a BS, in a uh, in a BS, when we are creating in a BS out of when we are creating out of file, do we have lines? In the unit DS, what do you mean by unit DS? I couldn't understand. What do you in mean? Oracle, EBS. In Oracle, EBS. EBS. In Oracle, EBS. EBS. Oh, you are saying EBS. EBS. Okay, what's my record on EBS now? Fine, everything is explained by EBS. Just watch it. I have even forgotten EBS totally. Fine. Right? because i took the class some 10 years back on ebs uh, even if i want to know i have to only watch my own record actually right? watch the record on ebs in the ebs what are you asking now i like i'm it, asking no, no. when when you are creating a refi do you have lines ha uh ha -huh ha -huh. so you will be having because, the descriptive lines are also okay fine not only a inventory item but even a description of the mc contract also we can get any information but if you don't have a line what is the meaning now what is the meaning of sending an rfi to a supplier actually you need a line otherwise you get a response there is there is a meaning okay fine for us so go there so click on it now we need a line in rf line rf the lines are needed rf is similar to rfq only thing is award is missing that is the only thing which is there only award is missing but you need it so click on submit now <clears throat> now we go there and then we will not go to the first supplier and then we will not know how to click on the now So it is a three one seven eight six is the one thing they want to know. So then go to the management position. Go there, click on it, and then I know go to the view active negotiations. Go there, seven eight six is the only one. Go there, turn on it. He is not going to create a response. I'm going to respond to them, create a response. Fine, go there. So this is the one which is not coming up on this place. Now fine, go there. So be one. Now Martin, tell me if there are no lines in what what he is going to respond. Tell me. if they don't have any lines he has to respond only on a line isn't it madi if you don't have a line in this place a descriptive based item or otherwise a, a, a inventory item what am i saying he has to have this so he is now offering a price of 75 now fine okay now the response quantity also we can give it now fine this will be coming up you can even uh, give a response quantity because that is enabled on the main one now on the main negotiation so click on save and close now so there's no doubt <clears throat> you must enter an attribute Line description. Alternate line descriptions. Alternate line. Who oh, is asking for here? Where is alternate line description? Alternate line description is okay. Oh, you can even uh, yeah. give alternate line descriptions in the RFI. You can even give alternate line descriptions. Alternate. Yeah. This was not there in the RFQ, right? Ah, uh, it's not there in the RFQ at all. Yeah. In RFI, it is there. Alternate line description. You are even close now. No, no. Okay, alternate line is also coming. Fine, it is now coming as a separate line actually, and as a separate line, and then the original line you know, offered a price of seventy-eight actually. So this what is, is alternate. What is the advantage of alternate line? I don't know. <laughs> While you are doing it, what happens if you do it? It is now coming as a mandatory field actually. It was coming as a mandatory field. Maybe the Nana, it is a alternative. Uh... Item. So he may even propose an alternate item. I think probably. Yeah. Even propose an alternate item. So, so alternate it, line description is a mandatory one actually. So not necessarily an uh, what I'm saying inventory item. A description can be given over here too. So no idea. Just go through the uh, what I'm saying implementation guide and then have a look at it about what exactly it means. So it is coming as a mandatory one, and we are not given it. So this is one. So we are not going to submit it now. So nothing else is there. And line level, no attributes to add at now. Fine, click on it. It's okay. And click on submit. The order page is now getting submitted. So we have one extra thing called what alternate lines only. The response for the negotiation is now submitted. Now go there. Click on it. This guy can very well do. Click on it. So you go there. Uh, manage negotiation. The one. And click on search. Is there three eight seven eight seven actually? Click on search now. Seven eight seven. Active. Click on it. We go. Have a look at it. Click on it. Now have a look. So go to the actions and then go to analyze. Then analyze the negotiation actually. You now have a look at it. So you analyze it and go there. Now you click on the response. Now click on. You got two lines actually. Please, please mute your mic now. Awesome. 
noises to be made. So here you can now see in this place, yeah, what's called alternate line is also added. Yeah, the price of this is also given on the response. Now, you're not going to close now. Go to the actions, you'll not close it. Click on that now, you're not going to close. Click on that now, you know, you'll close. So you'll not open it up and then it'll close now. So once when he closes, go to actions and then go to close now. Uh, analyze is coming, uh, manage, in the manage part of the closing. So let him close it now. So it's now closed. Click on submit now, and all the supplies will be immediately informed. The close date for the negotiation was updated as today. All ignited deposits will be notified now. Then again, come back and come out of it now. Open it up. You know, search it. It is active actually. Now it's closed. So once when it is closed, if you go there, here, what happens? You can only complete the negotiation. We cannot award it at all. That is the only difference. When we cannot award it. In the analyze what happens there is no award at all on RFA. So we can only complete. So there's the only difference between RFA and RFQ. And click on the complete negotiation. Go there. Okay, nobody complete. Completing the negotiation is the last step in the process. You cannot create a new round once when the negotiation is complete. That's all. One more round you cannot do. Click on this. That's all. The negotiation is complete. That's it. So we keep on our record whatever the suppliers have quoted, and then that will be used by the purchase officers at a later stage, actually. And that's on RFA. So we go for the final topic of the day, and that's called reverse auction. A reverse auction. Now we are going to create a what happens auction negotiation temporary style now. So over a negotiation style, we are going to make it now. We will not create an auction negotiation style actually. We're going to get it done now. <clears throat> so we are going for the what are manage negotiation styles now. So go there, click on it. Go there. We'll not create a style actually. We will not create a style for this. What is the meaning of reverse? I'll not tell you. Thank you. Manage. Uh, Manage negotiation styles. So go to styles. Let us not create a new one. Here, mine is not working. So here, you have to see if it is not working. The standard negotiation works now. The standard is working. Otherwise, what happens? I'll be using the standard. If mine is not working, it's not, I, know, I don't know. Uh, last time when I tried, it was not working. So I will not try this time. Now. I will not make a new one. So negotiation style is what? C01 underscore, uh, I will not say, uh, auction style. You will see the auction style actually. It is not going to have RFQ or not RFA. It's not going to I can even use the original one also. I am not making a new one now. I am not leaving it as such now. And then go down. And then here, everything is enabled actually. Fine. Here, what happens? The proxy bidding must be enabled. I am not enabling the proxy bidding. So probably last time, what happens? I have one style for all the three. Maybe for an auction, you have only one, one auction only. I'm not sure about it. I want to take it. I'm not creating a new style for the auction style. I'm creating it now. Make it as active and go that forward. So this is only for auction actually. So C01 auction style is for all these things actually. One thing is the proxy bidding has to be enabled actually. The proxy bidding is enabled. The remaining are all okay. And then give a save and close. So my C01 auction style is now made. Thank you save and close. Now let me create a negotiation template. Change the save. Your style is now created. Auction style is created. Thank you on done now. Let us now go and then create a, a template now. Thank you on it. Go there. Go to the home. And then you go to the procurement. And then here I go to the negotiations. So let me create a template for this. Click on it. Then now go to the manage negotiation template. We will now create a template on this. <clears throat> so click on plus now. I will now say, I will now see uh, the C01. Auction is there. Uh, why this is not coming? Oh, that is only an auction actually. That is only an auction because I have not renamed it actually in my. Auction. You created C01 auction, no, no, no. No, no, Inside there is only the name is auction actually. I I created outside as a C. Oh, this one, huh? Oh, oh, oh. yeah. No, 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 not this one. No, not this one. That's the one you created. No, no. That's the one you created, Nana. No, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll tell you. Fine. Right click and then duplicate now. I will show you so what I did. You were creating reverse or you're creating auction? One second. Okay. I will not modify it. It'll come on. Let me modify it. So go to search now. <clears throat> this is the manage uh, next style now. So I'm going to go there. What do you mean? C01. C01. So in the C01 auction style, fine, click on it now. Let me modify the name inside. Okay? It's only a simple auction now. 
i will not say oh okay okay uh, rev auction i will not say rev auction there is a rev bit reverse auction that will not get listed over there so this is the one which is getting listed over there so that i can uniquely distinguish actually rev auction and rev bit in the previous one i made as a c01 auction in this one if you go on and see in the negotiation state it is a c01 auction so that is getting listed that is not the one my amount is one got it now fine that's not got it this one is that's an that's an certification question nana ha 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 oh god auction is that fine save and close it is active actually fine save and close and come over here now and then drop down you'll be having a rev auction coming up now why it's not coming i will not give a cancel and then again say log out and log in man <laughs> go there rev auction is coming so my rev auction is coming fine that's called rev auction is coming. and then is okay my outcome is a ppa by say purchase order fine that's one it and i click on create i am not creating a template now so it's the cover page and then the overview i go there i am not creating a rev auction template actually i am not creating a template at all okay i will now say preview immediately uh, this is not required when open immediately my uh, response visibility is open my this are okay it was is okay i'm not, not touching anything fine there i know leaving the defaults as such i'm not touching anything on this go the terms go the terms the terms i'm not leaving all the defaults again and collaboration team nobody i'm not going to have any scoring at all i will not go to the what's called requirements now thank you i will not say c01 rev print template rev option template i think i'll put it in the description and then uh, that's it uh, and then go to the requirements now no no requirements as such now go to lines now and i add only one line oh god the line is very very sensitive location sensitive i couldn't understand that 65001 i don't know that's only with zero zero no other right up <coughs> for us so current price is 100 so here short price is 100 and then go there i want to edit and then i want to get all the price now we are in the reverse auction actually so go there i want to go to buy commodities now Not, the date is also important. The date is not coming. Why come? Come on, the need for date is not coming on a reverse auction. So many small, small changes here and there. Yeah. So click on it. The need for date is not coming. I have not said the target price is ninety now. So display the target price from that point. I am not doing it now. So anything else my point is cost factors. I am not doing it now. Attributes also I am not doing it. It's okay. Nothing else is there. Thank you. Now seven close now. Location is Seattle. I will now go on an actions validate now. Seattle is okay or not? Ah, it's saying is no problem at all with Seattle. Only an R five Seattle is a problem now. <laughs> God, I don't understand this one. <clears throat> Because R five, we are not going to buy anything. We are only going to keep it at the. So it is now asking the headquarters now. When the must or go on child dog, it is not accepting it. I don't know why it's R five. Just make a check. And then, if anybody finds an answer for the location as a master of location on RFI, please post in the uh, what's called WhatsApp group. But here it shows requisition BU. That's why it is accepting said Seattle. I don't know. Maybe there it was not there. Ah, huh? the requisition BU was not there in RFI. Yeah, it looks like. Sir. Okay, I'm not sure about it. Thank you. <clears throat> Just make a check of it and then uh, post your uh, observations. No fine. Let's go. Contract terms. No fine. Suppliers. I will not go there. I will not give two suppliers over here. No fine. Let's go. and how to suppress so in zero one sub one now let me say it so click on plus so c zero one there is sub two one side two that's it fine give us say and then we'll now publish it so is what so we go to say The same is now. Negotiation term auction is coming, or is a template only? Fine, that's what I'm saying. And then activate the template. Click on activate the template. So the template is now activated. Fine, that's what I'm saying. We'll now create a negotiation. We'll now go on and create a negotiation. The template is now created. So click on create negotiation. Then we are creating a template now. Create negotiation. I'll go there. I will now use the rev auction now. I'll go there. So the negotiation template will be rev negotiation template. So click on create now. Everything is okay. We'll now go to the lines. Lines is also populated. It's not a populated. We normally don't populate the lines on the template. Actually, fine. Everything is now there. In the terms, everything is there. So all these things are there now. So I will now go to the lines. Now, fine. Line is also populated. I now say C zero one rev underscore negative. 
तो रिवर्स ऑप्शन एक्चुअली नॉट मोबाइलाइजेशन रिवर्स ऑप्शन तो सी जीरो वन रिवर्स रिवर्स ऑप्शन इज द वन सो टेक आवर इंटरफेस इन ऑप्शन लाइंस इज ऑलरेडी पॉपुलेटेड सो नो नीड टू डू द टेम्पलेट इज ऑलरेडी पॉपुलेटेड यू मस्ट प्रोवाइड अ क्लोज डेट कम ऑन आई एम नॉट एनी द जनरल वन द जनरल वन द क्लोज डेट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो यू नो फॉर द फिक्स डेट द 11th इज अ क्लोज डेट थैंक यू सो मच एंड देन गिव अस सी again please uh, mute your mics now so go to the lines lines we already populated in the template but that is not a correct practice actually and everything is done now and then suppliers are also there fine you can publish it 31787 is not going to be published fine click on publish now the reverse option is now getting published you must provide a requested delivery date come on yaar it was there or oh, it was not there in the template but it is there in the negotiation actually <laughs> in the template negotiate there is not there but in the negotiation it is there now i will now say 25th the date you say and then always have a validation fine validate will not tell you everything is okay or not thank you thank you 31787 <laughs> 31787 is the same for now go there and then log in as casa brown we are ready in casa brown na no? yeah yeah thanks so uh 78 hours from the moment even some it's not come is not it come now fine let me log out and log in sign out and sign is casa brown <clears throat> consigning so 31787 is the one fine let's come for it we will find it on the map so click on it so it's got up now the supplier is now going to see the 31787 now going to supplier is logging now Get on them, then come over. Now, in the first supplier's login, actually, go there. Go there. You go to the what? Uh, view active negotiations. The seven eight seven has to come down. No, so go to the actions and then go to respond. Let me acknowledge it first of all. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, okay. Now, now, slow down. Get on them and then come over. Again, will not be. Will not get a response. Good actions and then good what response will not get a response. I am not going to get a response on the line level. Everything is okay. Will not go to the lines. So if you go to the line, you will now see the proxy decrement amount as well as your response price. Right, no coming. So here I will not say response price is what I am not going to say. What uh, uh, I will not say. Uh, uh, not say eighty nine. Right. The proxy minimum. The supplier is saying he will not keep on reducing it till eighty eighty. Let us say eighty. The proxy decrement amount is let us say three dollars. I will not say for the three dollars. So when the other supplier uh, quotes anything, now he is quoting eighty nine. If the other supplier is quoting eighty uh, eight now, so it will not uh, his quote will be reduced by three, and then it will be eighty five actually. Are you getting it now? Anybody? Anybody has got it out on this now? So this is called reverse auction actually. Got it. Is a reverse auction. So he is now quoting eighty nine, and then he is saying proxy minimum is eighty. Up to eighty is okay for him. Right? When the other supplier supplies quotes it, you will not see the actual value of it. So you are going to see this now. Fine. Any doubts? You can ask now. Fine. So he is now quoting eighty nine, and then up to eighty he is now ready to go. Apart from that, he is not ready to go. He is ready to go down till eighty. That's what you are. He is ready to go up to eighty now. Okay. Well, their range is between eighty to eighty nine. Exactly. But our our target price is ninety. Okay, our target price is ninety, but already they are putting it less on demand. It is six zero one two eight. Let us now submit this. So our target price. Thank you, Mr. Minister. This is the reverse auction actually. Thank you, Mr. Minister. This is submitting it. So that this thing has come. Down. So his Nana. quote of eighty nine will be visible for the second supplier actually. Nana. Ah. This reverse. Uh, uh, Reverse auction is for buying the goods or selling the scrap or wastes. It may be both. I think I'm not sure about it. But we are now doing reverse auction from a supplier's perspective. Okay. No, I know both. Apps dot nana. The second supplier is no signing in. Thank you for signing now. So he is no signing. In. Go there. You now go to the supply portal. I mean, you now see the latest one. Now, now how? And this is the one which needs whatever the green one says negotiation closing soon. Now fine, you will not click on that info letter of this green now. You will go there. So you will not go to actions and go to respond on it. Not only respond. Okay, now fine. 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 Okay, now f
so go there go to the actions and go to what happens response and go to create response you know going to the response you know going to the lines here so you know going to go there so here he is saying the best price is already 89 he is able to see if he wants he can also put the proxy decrement as well as the proxy minimum also but sometimes some supplies are not doing it now so he goes and then put the values 88 now now once when you submit it tell me what will be the best response price anybody he is now submitting 88 now he is saying native uh, Huh? 85, 85. 85 is 100 percent correct because sub supply is going to reduce from this level by three now. So by this level it will be less than one seventy five. So click on submit. He has now submitted the response. So you know then the response is submitted. He now go on and view his response itself. Now click on the now. You know how to do this. You know how to do the response. You go to that. You go to this place and then go to the manage. Uh, what is that here? Negotiation view response. Manage response. There itself you can now see this one. Open the response now. And then you can now see the price as what go to that what's called uh, uh, go to the lines level and then have a look at it. Now you can now see the response price is this now fine. And then uh, what are the uh, best price now fine? Best response price is not visible here. Come on. Now okay. you go to view. What is the response the amount? Four forty. Four forty is eight eighty eight into five is four forty. The best one has to come as. Oh, okay. Well, the first supplier will not see whether he is able to see it or not. Click on done now. He can now see his his price will come down actually automatically to be coming down. So go there. So in this place, you go there. Negotiation will manage responses and then have a look at his response actually. And you want reverse auction from six zero one three zero. So initially he got an eighty nine. Now his price has now come to what eighty five now. Response price has automatically come to eighty five. Initially he gave eighty nine. Now it has now come to eighty five now. His response price is completely. He can also see this now. Right? Anyway, you can see this now. I don't know why it's not possible for you to see. Come on, now go there. Now second supplier, I'm not looking at it now. So go there. But now go to the manage responses and then have a look at it. Now. Click on it. He will be able to see the ADP also, the best price. So ADP is there. The best price is not visible. Come on, the view columns. So now see the best price. Now. Nana Sai here. I tell you. Uh, so the the price came down is th that is because um, the first supplier has given a range yeah. from X to Y. Oh. Exactly. No, not range. He has given a proxy minimum now. He has given a proxy minimum of three because of which from eighty eight has come down to eighty five actually. He is not there at all. Thank you. On the readers, not on the readers. Must be the rate eighty five is visible or not? Response price, target price, best price is not visible for him. Come on. I might have what happens and not enabled any of some of them basically actually. Because of it, the second supplier is unable to see it. So, second supplier can be able to see it. Now, let him create a new one now. Fine, brother. So, it will be visible now. Fine. You will now create a new response. The second supplier is now creating a new response. So, let him create a new response. Come on, come on. Will now create a new response. Go ahead. I don't know why it's not visible. Maybe some controls is not. Uh, may maybe is not visible for him actually. Otherwise, it will be normally be visible on this now. Fine. Go the view active negotiations and then open it up now. So, go the response submitted is yes and then make a search now. Fine. It's a bigger search. Must be giving automatically. I don't know what actions and what create. I don't know. We'll now respond again. Fine. We'll now create a new response. Create a response by copying the previous response. You will now copy the previous response and then you're going to make it. Click on it. Click on create. So you're now creating. It. So second supplier is now creating it. Another one. You now go to the lines area. Another one. Lines area. So now you see here it is not showing you the best price, but in the outside it is not showing at all. It has to show now. So now he is going to give a response price as 84 now. Eighty-four. Now tell me what will be the best price now? Anybody? What will be the best price if you submit it? What will be the best price actually? Eighty-one. Eighty-one. Eighty-one is hundred percent correct. It will reduce from the others by three now. Thank you, Consul. So it's not done. Thank you. So I'll now go to the first supplier and have a look at it. Can I change the? Can I change the proxy minimum? Yeah, I think we can do it now. I'm not sure about it that you can make a try. <laughs> After <laughs> submitted, whether you want to make a change, now it has come to what 81 now. And response price has to come to 81 now. Actually, uh, it is not coming. Thank you. Now we'll take some time. I think. We'll click on search now. Find search and then get a new value. And then afterwards, what happens? We go there. Click on it. And then how will it come? Now it has become response. And his response has got changed to 81 actually. 81. So the proxy minimum is 80 now. So now. This guy is going to make a change to eighty point five now. You tell me what will happen now for the best price. This guy is now going to make a change now. I go to actions, and then you know we are done now. Come on, right? So go there. You know go to this place. Go there. It's an excellent way now. In many public sector companies, they use this reverse auction to a great extent because their item amounts will be in crores. 
fine. Multiple crores, fine. Some 100, 200 crores will be there, fine. For which the reverse auction is the best way to get the best prices. Out. Just like raffle deal. Ah, raffle deal. Okay. <laughs> Where the politicians <laughs> will not take away the money now. Okay, good. So click on the negotiation and then see the response. Now. Your responses are there. If I click on the responses now. You can have a look at the response. So one, three, one is the response. We go it. It will not show the best price or not. Fine. Blank is there. Fine. Response price is not The best price is not shown. Come on, yeah. It is not there in the column also. I will not show all. Now. Let me show all. Let me show all. The response price, start price, target price. All the things are there. What are the best price? What are the current best price? It is not showing at all. What is this? Bekar. Probably something I might have missed on the con negotiation itself. Whether the other, I can see the other other suppliers' responses may be no, no, I think, in the negotiation. Might, might have been no. Now, let him create the third response. Now, I click on action, so I'm going to what? Create response. He is now creating a third response. So, click on it. You will now copy it from a previous one. Fine. The latest one is now copy. Now, 131, you will now copy. I click on create now. You know, copy it. You go to the lines with it. Now, he is now putting his price. Fine. The best price is coming as 81 now. If you put a price of 80.5, what will be the response price? What will be the best response price? 80? 80. 80. It will be 80 only. Fine, go that it will be 80 because you can go only up to a minimum of 80. But even though you want That's agreement with three, but up to yeah. 80 only, it will not go. Fine, go that. Yeah. It will not go to 80. Now. The best response price will be going to 80. Is, so if it is, falls uh, below that uh, price, it will take the, the best uh, minimum only. Yeah. That is the next question for you. I will not give a search now and then go there. So I will not go in space. <clears throat> and then you can now see the response price has gone to 80 now. The first supply is response price. Let us now go and then do on the second supply. You will now go there. He will now, uh, I will now go to the second supply. You will now create another response. Create a response. Click on create a response. So 80 has now become a one. So we are now going to create another response on it. Thank you, Conte. Go to the lines which so he is now able to when you create a new response, he is able to see the minimum price. Now, if you put 79.99, he is putting it. What will be the best price now? Will it get decremented with three or not? No, 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 no. So this is the final price actually. And the first supply is saying he is now Hat Utalia. Sir is same in Jazak. I cannot go beyond this. So now the second supply will be the best price. Now. So click on subject. And that's it. So you know so he can also set a proxy between minimum, then it will automatically go, 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 and then it will now reach the minimum of one of the supplies. If everybody is supplying, go that will not have a look at it. So 60134 is the one, we'll now go on and see his response price. We'll now see what happens to this. So click on search again. And then the first supplier one has his response price is still no. The rank has now become two now. Fine, it does no more rank one. So the rank has now become two. We will now go to the negotiations and have a look at enough. I'm going to manage negotiations and have a look at it. So keep on the manage negotiations. It's an excellent way of what happens is getting a beautiful price actually. Reverse auction though. So seven eight seven. Go there, click on it. And then here we will now go there. Go to the auctions and then go to analyze and then go to monitor negotiation. Analyze negotiation. You can analyze the negotiation. You can now see 79.99 will be the best price actually. And go there, on it. So Sub one has we got this many things now. Where, where to see at the line level? I go to the line level and have a line level. You can see there are uh, five no, responses. There are active responses of five. Thank you. Sound best price is now coming at 79.99. The best price is coming on the main itself. But again, it is up to the negotiator or the sourcing administrator to award. Even though it may be best price, he might have taken a bribe from other supplier. So you would have ordered the 90% of the things to the first supplier actually. <laughs> So all these things are there. So this is what's called reverse auction. Got it? No fine. Reverse auction is complete. You just go through the. I have not gone through this one. No. So again, all this. But sometimes what happens? The proxy minimum doesn't come at all. Fine. I see it. The proxy minimum and then the bidding amount. Fine. They are not coming at all. So you have to do something. I don't know. Last time when I did it, it was not coming. Now it's coming. How it came? How it didn't came? I don't know. Fine. That portion somebody has to make an already. Then afterwards, what happens? I ran a LDAP as well as the import user roles. I ran it. And then uh, uh, what happens? Yesterday, I tried it. It was not coming. And so what happens? I ran these two concurrence and then went to sleep. Now it's coming. I don't know whether that is the reason or not. But that is something there. So if you go then have a look at it. This is on the proxy one. <clears throat> proxy reverse auction, actually. So this will be coming on the seller's area. If I'm going on it. 
they go there. You go to the managed seller negotiations. In the managed seller negotiations, you can see this. One. So go to the show filters now. You cannot see the negotiation number or the owner number. Okay, how to see this here? My seller negotiations. There. So click on search now. Click on search. It does show here. What is the negotiation number? Anybody remember it now? Three one. Seven eight seven. Seven. I will not see all now. I will not put all. I will keep on it. It will not show only the reverse auctions actually. Status is all. The equipment we use just now. Thank you, sir. It is not coming now. It normally comes over here. So I will say C zero one. Keep on search. So the reverse auctions are not, not coming. Actually. So in the sellers negotiation, we can very well see this now. Search for this. Remove it. I will mean, make a search. Now. Ah, okay, here you can see this. So this completes the activities on sourcing it. Any doubts? So on Monday, we will now begin procurement contracts. We will now begin procurement contracts on Monday. You got solid three days time. So try to practice everything, whatever is possible on your side now. Okay. We'll now begin procurement contracts on Monday. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Nana sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nana sir. Bye. 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 Bye.